Okay, I've got this 2013 Dodge Dart here. I just wanted to make a quick video on these TPMS or tire pressure sensors. If you're getting a orange exclamation mark parentheses on your dash there, then um, <clears throat> you can look on the screen and more likely it's gonna tell you that uh, you've lost contact or something. It's not reading the tire pressure on one of these tire sensors. Okay, now this is the tire sensor in question. Now, this is a press-in type. They do have a screw-on type, which I have one of those that had been put on there in the past. But this is a press-in type that I got. This is a Mopar OEM part. You know, you could get aftermarkets. Uh, but these do not require any sort of a relearn. Basically, if you can get it installed, then the car you may have to drive it around a little bit but it will reset and it should start picking up that sensor if it is good a lot of times these batteries will go bad in these after so many years and uh, just needs to be replaced so you can see the front one here uh, doing the same job but it's like a screw in type so ones like these would be easier to replace because they can be unscrewed um, a lot of places can do that pretty cheap um, the ones you know the press and type the tires obviously if you got a way to remove the tire and push it in there then you can do that yourself so anyways a lot of people may feel like you know if you get this warning light it's going to be something expensive and having to replace a bunch of sensors but a lot of times it's you know maybe one two sensors and it's not very expensive i got that sensor i think was like 13 dollars and it's the OEM brand new sensor. I said on a lot of the Dodge, it doesn't have to be like synced or relearned. The car will find the sensor and it will pick it up and then that light will go off. So again, if you own a Dodge or one of these darts um, and you're having this issue, you can order yourself some of these sensors and uh, take it somewhere, have this installed and get this light taken care of. The most they're gonna charge you is having to remove the tire and install it. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick video on this and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.